Hey guys, I want to talk to you about Minn Kota trolling motors. This is an Altera I'm using, but this will apply to the Tarova or the Altera and just how to use the trolling motor and the most common things you're going to need to use to make this efficient and start fishing as quickly as possible. All right, so I'm going to deploy my Altera trolling motor. One thing that is very important, one mistake that people make, do not deploy the trolling motor when the boat is moving okay you have to stop the boat bring it to a standstill obviously it could be drifting from wind or current but don't deploy your trolling motor when you're when you're moving when your outboard motor is still pushing your your boat kill the momentum of the boat and then deploy it reason for that being as this motor is deploying if it senses any resistance it will lock into motor error to protect itself okay so our boat is stopped, we press uh, deploy, and our trolling motor is going down nice and easily. Now, when I wanna stow my trolling motor, the same thing. I don't wanna start driving away and then deploy it, okay? Don't do that, because you're gonna lock your trolling motor into an error. So right now, we're at drift, okay? We could be moving to wind and current, but we're not, the outboard motor is not pushing the boat at all. And I'm gonna press stow, and my trolling motor is gonna come up and stow very easily again biggest mistake people make is they try to stow and deploy the trolling motor when their boats moving and they run into issues when the motor goes into an error mode so the first thing that you're going to use with the trolling motor is called spot lock this is going to anchor your boat in position so all i need to do is press the anchor icon and bam i am spot locked the motor is gonna adjust right now and it's gonna hold that position, okay? It holds it in a lot of situations, it's a very tight pivot point. So it'll actually hold the boat tighter than an anchor will because when you anchor, you're gonna have a lot of scope in your line and the boat's gonna swing more. Um, another feature I use a lot of is the jog feature. So what I'm gonna do is tap my spot lock icon and it's gonna give me four arrows. If I wanna move the, move the boat to the left, each time I press the left arrow, it's gonna move the boat in five feet increments. So if I wanna move 20 feet to the left side of the boat, one, two, two, three, four, that's gonna give me 20 feet to the left. High level math, right? So um, this is really great if I'm fishing a, a piece of structure like a, like a boulder, and I need to, it doesn't matter what you're fishing for, it could be freshwater bass, could be blackfish, where, uh, where I fish in the Northeast, and you just need to make a 20 foot movement on the other side of the rock, and that can make all the difference in the world. That's where jog really comes in handy, okay? Um, now, it's not just spot lock. That is one of the main features I use, but the other thing I use a lot of is the autopilot. And first thing I need to do is go into my options and change it from uh, advanced autopilot to legacy autopilot. Um, so the legacy autopilot is going to, what it's gonna allow me to do is select a heading with the trolling motor and I'm going to top the propeller of my trolling motor and pick the speed I want and then I'm gonna hit the autopilot button and that's gonna hold the trolling motor on that position okay and what I use this for as I use this for drifting so if I want to stay on a particular drift line and the wind is blowing me off of it I'll offset the wind with the trolling motor or just real simple right now we have a, a north wind I'm gonna put the trolling motor north and I'm going to increase the speed to drift slower okay so if I am drifting without the trolling motor I'm probably drifting about one mile an hour let's say I want to bring this to um, slow my drift down to a half a mile an hour what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to increase my speed of my trolling motor I've selected my autopilot so that the trolling motor is gonna keep us on that heading and I'm gonna increase the speed until I slow the boat down to the speed that I picked. So I, I want to do about a half a mile an hour. I'm gonna, so right now I'm drifting about 0.3, so I'll back off a little bit. And 
that's about a drift speed that I want right there, about a half a mile an hour. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it right there, and I could increase and decrease the speed. I could change my heading if I want. A uh, really great feature. I could use this when I'm drifting uh, or if I'm slow trolling live bait, and I want to just keep the boat on autopilot and keep it heading this particular direction. I could do that <clears throat> with iPilot Link. I'm able to use my Solix to control my trolling motor and really utilize a one boat network. So what I'm gonna do here is a little hole over here I wanna move my boat to, I wanna spot lock in that hole. I'm gonna move my cursor to my desired location. I'm gonna press go to spot lock. And now the Solex is telling the trolling motor to bring me to that spot, that hole right there. Um, so that's obviously a really useful piece of technology. Um, I may have a saved waypoint and I wanna hit go to that saved waypoint. I'm gonna do that off. I'm gonna show you how to steer from the Solix. So we have to get onto our iPilot link menu. Let me just back out and show you the whole process. So if we want to control the trolling motor, we're gonna tap the trolling motor icon. We have to get our um, page over. So we're gonna press the page button. Now we're on our pilot link, okay? Now I'm going to put my power up and I'm able to use the rotor now, this is pretty cool, to steer the trolling motor. So right now I'm able to steer with the rotary knob, which is a pretty cool feature. So if you have iPilot link and you're not using the complete one boat network to control everything you need to get on this and I'm going to show you right now how to stow my trolling motor from my Solix so I'm going to power off go to Altera and I'm able to trim as well so I could trim the trolling motor from the Solix or my remote but let's say I was in shallower water I got a 72 inch shaft on this 23 foot center console but Maybe I'm in shallow water and I don't want the trolling motor down three feet. I could trim it up a little bit, okay? Now, if I wanna stow my trolling motor, I'm in my all terror menu. We'll just back out again. I'll show you one more time. All terror and stow. And now the trolling motor will stow. Next time I deploy, it's gonna go where it was trimmed to. So if I was trimmed all the way down, it would go back to being trimmed all the way down. So just to wrap things up with the trolling motor, the ability to control your boat is what makes it so effective. Okay, being able to spot lock, being able to use the autopilot to control your drift speed. If you have no drift and you want to drift, you're able to do that. If you have, if you're drifting too fast or you're drifting the wrong direction, you're able to deploy the trolling motor, activate the autopilot, and really you're, you're in control, you're in total control of your boat. You control it from anywhere in the boat, from the screen, from the remote, and that's the real advantage to using a trolling motor. That's why, like everybody says, and I'm a saltwater full-time guide, once the day I started using the trolling motor, I knew I would never go back to fishing without one, and that's because of the ability to control the boat. It's just unlike, you can, unlike anything you could do without a trolling motor. If I want to turn on my iPilot link remote, I press and hold the check mark. That will also turn it off. Press I agree. If I want to spot lock, I would press the anchor icon on the top of the remote. And if I want to deactivate it, any of the buttons will deactivate spot lock. Uh, if I am spot locked, you will get a green circle on your screen. And if you tap that circle, you'll get four arrows and each time you press an arrow, we'll move the boat in a five foot increment. Um, if I wanted to steer my boat, I'd turn the propeller to turn the um, power on and the plus button will increase speed, the minus button will decrease speed and I steer using the right and left arrow. Um, all terror button, that will give me the menu to stow and deploy and trim my motor. Uh, the autopilot button will activate and deactivate the autopilot. <clears throat> if I come down to 
options, my autopilot mode, I want to make sure I'm on legacy autopilot. We'll back out of this and go to our settings. For settings, menu edit allows you to move the icons around. I like my Altera icon at the top and my autopilot icon at the top because those are the two I use the most. Back down to settings and uh, if this was a new remote and I had to pair it to the trolling motor, I would press pair and also press pair on the top of the trolling motor. Boat scale, um, my previous boat was a very deep V, so I had to set it, um, set it to negative two, but the boat I have now is good at zero. You'll notice if you're in spot lock and your trolling motor is overcompensating, you're gonna need to adjust the boat scale. And to turn off, I press and hold the check mark. And if I had to charge the remote on the bottom right here, this is the port where the charging port goes in and that is how I charge my remote. Hey guys, I'm Mike Roy, Andrew Ray on camera. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like this. I hope this helps you understand how to use your trolling motor better and maximize this awesome piece of technology. Catch them up.